Mudstones are a sort of holy grail for astrobiology, but the thing that makes them enticing also makes them weak. New time-lapse video from Perseverance shows what happens when its mighty drill goes to work on these rocks on this episode of Mars Guy. The rocks that make up the feature in formerly known as the Bacon Strip were produced billions of years ago in what may have been a playa lake, like this one in Chile, where clay and sulfate minerals combine to make mudstones. They also capture organic matter, which on Earth comes from living organisms. The ones in the Bacon Strip also have organic matter, which is enticing, but not proof of life given that there's lots of abiotic organic matter in the solar system as I presented in episode 76. Perseverance has moved on to other mudstones in a place known as Enchanted Lake in search of additional examples of organic rich rocks. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The first attempt to use the abrading bit to make a fresh exposure on one of these rocks shattered it, but also revealed a strange purple coating, which I presented in episode 77. Now Perseverance has bumped forward to other rocks, And yes, that's how the engineers describe a short drive. As always, the abrasion operation comes first, but this time it was monitored with the front HASCAM, taking a picture about every minute. This is the first time we've gotten to see the rotary percussion drill in action on these rocks, and it's a pretty dynamic operation. You can see the rock giving way, probably along pre-existing fractures and chipping around its edges. Fortunately, the result was a beautiful abrasion spot that is fully intact. And like the broken rock before, there's a purple coating. The view a week later from the arm-mounted Watson camera shows how the coating chipped away during the abrading operation and later from the coring operation on the adjacent rock. You can also see the pattern left behind by the abrading bit which is not ideal, but probably is the result of the rock moving during the operation. The coring operation was done on the adjacent rock to provide enough space for the drill stabilizers. Cores are never taken from the abrasion patch, in part so that the outermost layer of the rock can be sampled. The purple coating is a great example of this. If we're lucky, some of it will be attached to the core sample, Here's the time-lapse view of that operation. Once again, the rock was disrupted and chips were broken off around the edges. You can also see the piece that got broken off the edge of the abrasion patch. Despite the obvious fracturing and disruption, the coring operation was successful, producing the typical volcano-like mound of tailings around the hole and a coring bit filled with rock. The sample tube inside the bit gets transferred into the rover and inspected with the cache cam, which provides a close-up view of the sample before it's tightly sealed for return to Earth. This view nicely displays the very fine grains typical of a mudstone, so an ideal specimen in the hunt for Martian microbes. Perseverance got a second sample from another slab just big enough to fit the drill on. Apparently, the reach to get to it required an orientation of the drill that's not been used before. So now we get to see some of the interior workings of the drill in action. Other than toppling the little tailings volcano, this operation was pretty benign with only minor rock displacement. Now there are two samples, one of which will be dropped off in a sample depot along with six other paired samples the other half will remain on board. This is insurance for a scenario in which Perseverance can't deliver the samples to the return rocket. In that case, two Ingenuity class helicopters will be deployed to collect the precious eggs not kept in one basket. 